Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a San Jose Shark season preview. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content and go on the NHL season preview playlist if you want to check out my other season previews, or you can subscribe up top on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. Obviously, these Sharks are led by Bob Bugner and then are run by Don Wilson as the general manager. At the current moment, you went 21, 28, and 7. Last year, excuse me. So this team is a team that obviously is in a rebuild, is still retooling, and is still trying to become the new wave San Jose Sharks team that you saw with the Marlers of the world, with the Pavelskis of the world, and with the Joe Thornton's, Mark Edward Vlasics of the world when you were winning games and you were an exciting team out there in California. I know Ducks read Anthony Ciardelli and I last year called it the California Burrito. Who's going to take the California Burrito by the end of the season, um, when it comes to California, I would say the team coming into this season that's probably favored to be the best team in Cali, not necessarily make the postseason, but be the best team in Cali, is definitely probably the LA Kings over your San Jose Sharks, and then the Ducks do have John Gibson, where the big bugaboo with your Sharks team, you do got to figure out now, since obviously you moved on from Martin Jones, who was at the Cam Talbot part of his career in Edmonton when you could see it was time to move on. But you have Aiden Hill come in now who showed some success when he was in Arizona but didn't get a lot of ample playing time. Yeah, you don't know. He seems like a fun young goalie to follow, but is he going to be more of that 1B or is he definitely going to be a full-blown starter you can go to? And then James Reimer at this point of his career is more like Brian Elliott. It just makes the saves you need, but you're probably not going to want to have to rely on him in terms of a large and big starting role. But when it comes to, obviously, overall in net, somebody that I do like to follow and somebody <clears throat> that I think has a chance to be solid that didn't play well when he came up last year, but he's still only 23, played all right, when down below is Melnichuk. So it's going to be interesting to keep following him and following Aiden Hill as your two youngsters when it comes to the net. Because you brought in Reimer because... Yes, he is more of a backup at this point, but he's a great veteran that's been around and kind of will help those young goaltenders, so I think that's smart to have in there. But you got to figure out between those young grouping or bring somebody in who your next at least Martin Jones is going to be, if not Evgeny Nabokov, because you need to find that next-gen goalie for your team in order to obviously get to that success rate you had with the Thornton's, Vlasics, and others of the world I aforementioned. Obviously, you still have the great Mark Edward Vlasic on the team, uh, reminding you of that great success, and you got to keep him around. You still got Brett Burns on this team. So, obviously, Carlson's on this team, but he's not from that same thro more throwback Sharks era. But you have some good things to build on. Mario Fer Ferraro is one of the better young defensemen in hockey and really wouldn't have had a minus six if he wasn't on a team like the Sharks, like your team that is rebuilding and budding, if he was on a team that was more already in in the zone and already kind of where they're supposed to be, or even a team that is at the end of the rebuild, you would have saw better in-house numbers and not just saw from eyesight when it came to Mario Firavari because he does have some pretty damn good analytics, and he also just played really good on the ice uh, last year. You also have a youngster in Jacob Middleton who's a big body guy at 25. He can kind of block shots, do a good thing there. Well, it's going to be interesting to follow those guys as well as Satiri, um, Satiri Hataka, who is uh, now over here and is considered a scratch by Cat Friendly, the 20-year-old, but I'm sure he will get some playing time eventually if you're going to keep him up. And then Ryan Markley, you are so, uh, Merkley, you also have, excuse me, on defense, who is a nice budding defenseman and a good player when he has the puck. He just needs to keep his head on straight and not turn into a Tony D'Angelo type guy or there. And then he'll be set and he'll be a good player. And William Eklund at left wing, Thomas Bordelais. You got Ozzy Westblatt. So you got some good guys developing. It's just about patience as a virtue. I said it when I did. I think it was the Arizona video. And now with this team, it's the same thing. It's about patience is a virtue, but you have some guys that are starting to come up. Maybe a Weatherby, a Jasper a Weatherby will be able to, or Weatherby will be able to have a um, 
good season this year in his first one with you getting drafted 102 in 2018, going to get a chance, it looks like, on the fourth line. But this team, what I do like, I must say, as the rebuilding is, if you're going to give William Eklund, we saw the youngsters that got chances already have success in Mason McTavish, Colt Sillinger, and others. So let's see what he's able to do. It's good to have the Tomas Hurdle still around that, been around there, done that. You brought in Rudolph Bouchers off waivers last year. You seem to be picking it up a bit there. Timu Meyer is still only 25 years old. It's hard to believe, but yeah, he's still only 25 years old. And you still have the captains. You still have Logan Gator there, the captain who obviously is going to be able to be a great leader with this team and bring in people and integrate the young guys really well. So yes, this team is nowhere close to being able to win again, the projected eighth, but I think you have the good foundation pieces with these young guys developing, plus the aforementioned Eklund, Bordelais, Westblatt, uh, even Goudreau. You have guys down below that are going to develop <clears throat> and uh, come up here and be successful guys for you, and they have the Nick Beninos of the world the Logan Couture's of the world, even the Andrew Cogliano's of the world, that have been good veterans and good leaders in the locker room in this league. And on defense, they have the Vlasics and Burns of the world to mentor them along and really bring them into the league so they know how to kind of just handle the NHL lifestyle and the NHL playing style compared to the minors. So it's great to have that good mix of veterans as you have a rebuilding team. Of course, some of these veterans that people will actually trade for their cap hit I'm sure will be traded in secession, potentially even some this year when it comes to the Sharks, because if you're able to get somebody for, say, Logan Couture, or obviously one of those Nick Boninos or the Coglianos, if they have good seasons as veterans, then you're going to move him, or especially if you're able to get somebody for one of your defensemen because of the big cap hit and somebody wants to take them on because they really need a defenseman. Um, for the playoff run as the season goes on, you're probably going to move somebody because that's just going to help your team when it comes to the rebuild. But for the time being, this team, yes, they're going to be at the bottom of the division or one of the two teams at the bottom of the division. But that's not what it's about this year. It's about seeing how William Eklund does. It's about seeing how the weather buys do. It's about seeing how Middleton does in a longer season. See how Ferraro does in this 82-game uh, season now. And see how Aiden Hill does and also Melnichuk if he gets another chance as the young netminders because one of them could one of them become at least the next Morton Jones for you that could become a successful goaltender. So that's all what it's about. It's about everybody developing for the Sharks team plus those veterans continuing to be at least successful in helping these young guys come in and be a big part of that leadership group. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I hope you enjoyed the San Jose Sark season preview. If you enjoy the content, Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Good luck this season, Sharks fans. Hopefully you have guys like William Eklund develop really well for you and one of those two goalies hit. Peace out.